Ignition developer contains two types of variables, the first of these being global variables, and these are used for whole scene operations, so for example calculating a threshold for classification based on scene parameters like Gregor showed. The second are object variables, these are defined on an object basis, for example to calculate a new and more representative value for each object in the domain that could be used for further classification. To give an example of using global variables to simplify a process, we're going to look at tree crown donation in Australian forests. The image you can see on the top left is a color composite of a Cassie image, and then to the right of it is a band, um, a band ratio of that image, which then is shown in 3D below. This 3D image shows the hills and valleys, which are used to delineate the tree crowns, where the tops and the, uh, the hills, the bright areas, are the tops of the crowns, and then the valleys in between are the shadow areas between those crowns. So to delineate the crowns, what we first need to do is to find the, um, uh, the the seeds within the crowns, which are shown on the right hand side on the top right. And then once we have these seeds, we then need to grow those seeds to find the valleys within the crowns, which we can then start showing you here. We start to um, grow the first crown. Here you can see it's growing, and we, what we're doing is we're trying to find these shadow areas in between the valleys. And once it's grown, you can see we've fused that object, and then we'll look at the second crown. The second crown is selected, and then we'll start to grow that. Again, we're looking to find these shadow areas which form our valleys. We can grow that one. And then moving on to the third and final crown, we'll grow that crown. You can see it's growing. It's a smaller one. And then finally, we'll just clean up our classification. And these are our tree crowns. The problem we've got is in our Australian forests, we have um, more than one um, species and structure of um, trees. And these require different thresholds for these seeds to be identified. And in the example we've given here below is an angophora on the left and some dense pines on the right. To implement this with any cognition, we, uh, we need to represent each of these thresholds. Now we can do this in professional, but what we have to do is duplicate our process many times. So on the left hand side you can see we've duplicated our process several times, starting with a value of minus 70 and going into a value of 60. Now the problem with doing this is if we want to if we want to change the process, we need to go into each one of these individually and then change what is within. But if we use a variable, like shown in to the right of that of the professional process, we can simplify this and only represent the, the information in the process once. So here we've defined a process, so we've defined a threshold um, into a variable of, of minus 70, the same starting value as in professional. We then put in, put in a loop where we can loop around that variable um, where until the value is um, equal to 60, the same as the end point in the professional process. And then we edit the um, our classification step within the process, so we now refer to the variable. And then at the end of the loop, we then increment it by 5. So this process now mimics what you can see on the left. And then now it's much simpler, and it's much more reusable code. And what we've been doing with this is we've now been looking at extending this and using it beyond the Australian forest. More recently, we've been looking at the um, Abruzzo National Park in Italy, and here we've been able to expand this process over some quite large areas. And the main applications for this are mapping forest extent, species, and forest structure. To give you an example with um, tree species, we're going to try and extract what's called the mean lit spectra for the, um, to aid the classification of species. On the left-hand side, you can see two images. The, low, um, the first one, the lower one, is the first level, the lower level, and the ignition process. And here we've um, seg we ha already have the tree crowns. We've segmented it and found the brightest part of the crown, um, which is there, for, which is the area we're going to extract the spectra from. On the upper level, we have the whole tree crown. And what we want to do is to use our local variables or our object variables to assign this meanlet spectra, the spectra from this brightest part of the crown, to the whole crown object. And the, using these local variables allows us to do this, and then use them, or most importantly, use them in our effort and subsequent classifications. So in this slide, you can see on the left, you have your um, class description that you're all used to. But now, inside your um, feature list, you can see we have all these mean list spectra, which are local variables. And you can see on the right-hand side, we've selected a crown. And you see we have the mean values for that crown. And then we have the local variables for that crown, which are this mean list spectra. And you see the values are quite different, and this really improves our classification, going accuracies of increases of up to about 10%.